All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, guys and girls. Fishing pole. That's the only two words I have for you. Fishing pole, fishing pole, fishing pole, fishing pole. Thank you. I uh, I guess I should have thought twice about the minigame down here, but in the past, so many of the minigames were so senseless. I don't know. It just didn't strike me as something that would yield any results, but alas, the tire awaits us in the bottom of the lake. Thank you for all of your love on the series. Keep hitting that like button if you're enjoying your help and keep Lego City Undercover alive and well, and I do appreciate it. The second tire is ours, moving right along with our adventure to get this prison truck. Um, that door is still magically locked. It's amazing to me how many powers we, we still don't have unlocked. We don't have them unlocked, says this sad chap carrying the tire. I mean, like, if we're going to talk proportions, this tire is way too big. Um, uh, I guess it's okay. Tires are big. It just, it just looks so huge because he's so small. I don't know. Is he really so small? You know, n most games with humans make them seem so huge on your screen that it's a little bit odd to play a game where the character is, you know, bite-sized. And maybe he's not. Maybe compared to buildings and stuff, he's the right <laughs> height. But on the center of the screen, he looks like such a small fry. All right, let's put this uh, other wheel on his police bike and get this prison truck under control. That's two. Find another. It, oh, wait. Uh, I'm thinking of tricycles. Well, it looks real nice. I wonder if it's safe to ride. Well, I guess there's only one way I'm gonna find out. You should take it out for a spin. Just what? Just around Cherry <laughs> Tree Hills and Auburn Dock should do. Most people that are excited about a new car or a new bike don't be like, Yo, try it out for a friend. I guess he's as generous. Oh my god. Holy cow. Welcome to Forza. Here we go, here we go, here we go. We got the super bike, and we're on the love amazing race course, doing all the racetrack things, doing all the speed demon. I'm freaking NASCAR F1 and drag racing ripped into one. Are those even three different things? I don't know. I don't do racing, but man, they all of a sudden pack a bunch of speed, uh, <laughs> speed and intensity into this one. Normally, when we drive cars, it's kind of laid back, laissez faire experience. Here, they're like, yo. Nitrous, this bad boy, up to 10,000. Yeah, it looks like we're going around an entire mountain, I guess. Kind of a cool change of pace. Jump to jump. I like how they take everything so over the top in this game. It really adds a nice sense of uh, insanity to what otherwise could be kind of a normal type game. Instead, they're like, nope, I'm just going to level everything up to 9,000 and, and make you go crazy. Uh, with with the, the passion in which we, we make our Lego games. Can I go up this way? I don't know if I was supposed to do that, but I did. <laughs> it worked out alright. Alright, so after we do this, we should be on track for our mission. But first, we're taking a crazy course around the entire town. The, the police station must be so displeased with our flamboyant and... Uh, Insanely loud behavior. <laughs> We're almost done though. It's been a fun adventure. Thank you, Garage Man, for sharing into this awesome motorbike speed demon hoo ha adventure. Alright. Wow! Just cut through the grass. Who needs roads? Who needs roads? Ooh. Zoom, 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 baby. And we're back in a flash just like that. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, that was pretty speedy, and it's still in one piece. A yeah. deal is a deal. You'll find the prison transport truck in there. Well, thank you. Victory is ours. I've unlocked some time trials on this speed demon of a bike. And now, there are apparently more hidden vehicles around the city, although that one's right outside this area, so it's not so hidden. But anyways, we've got a prison truck to drive. Kind of a little bit uh, dark. Like, hey, let's drive this prison truck and do some badness. Okay, um, I'm ready to go. Hello? Hello? Oh, he was, like, inside the prison truck, I guess? What? There we go. I guess he was riding in the back. Chase, you ain't no prisoner. You're the man in charge, bro. All right, take the prison truck all the way to the courthouse. I can do that. This isn't really a prison truck. It's kind of just like a police van. I see these on the road all the time. Wow, 
You know, like the police vans that stop the big semi-trucks for... I, I don't know what they're stopping them for. I rarely see semi-trucks speeding, so... I don't know if it's suspicion of drunk driving or that they're, like, smuggling crazy narcotic apes into the country or that they have a supply of ooze that they are transporting back and forth or what, but it always kind of weirds me out when you see a police van or police truck stopping a semi-truck. Maybe they just have, like, 50 kidnapped kids in the back or something and they're saving the day. I don't really know. It just always makes me think, like, oh, what'd that guy do? I don't know. Truck drivers in general, like that whole truck scene, kind of not my thing. That alligator, on the other hand, and these pink pigs that kind of look like seals from afar, those are definitely my thing. Alright, so this courthouse is all the way around town. We're gonna zoom zoom our way there, and as promised, bringing you LEGO City every day on the daily, on the 24 hour clock, on the 7 days a week, on the YouTubes, because I love you, and because you love this game quite a bit. And I appreciate your enthusiasm, bottom line. The happiness in the comments, the fun, loving likes, it all means a lot to me. And so, I will put out these videos as much as I can. Statue of Liberty, wow! Kind of look like a freaking advertisement for an airline. Like, fly Liberty Air, where we take you over the Statue of Liberty every flight, no matter where it originates or the ends up. Ow! 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 Okay, that guy just tried to- what- what the- what? Okay, 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 he's trying to freaking flip the police vehicle. No, no, no. Flip it- come on, chase. It just blew up. That was bad. Try again. Aww. Aww. Chase is so freaking sad. How'd that happen? How'd he blow- it? That dude was a freaking against my- Whatever. I don't even know. Alright. Attempt number two. In this attempt, I will tell you about all of the encounters I've had with the police. Zero! Pers I have one. I, I was gonna say zero because I've never gotten a ticket or anything. Um, or been stopped for an accident or anything like that. Luckily, I've been driving for like seven and a half, eight years almost, and I never have gotten anything. One time, though, I was, I just moved from California to Michigan, uh, or to Indiana. This was after I, I was, uh, graduating high school, and I still had my California plates on my car way past the time that I was supposed to switch them, and I'm not really sure why I didn't switch them, if it was just laziness, or if I had a reason at the time, um, but I didn't. And I was driving a really old car, a 1989 Honda Accord, and I had my old plates, and they were from California, and a police officer was behind me, and this was my only fear, because I was like, and now, if you have expired plates, it's not that big of a deal, but if a police officer gets right behind you, you're kind of in trouble. So, of course, policeman of the day lined up right behind my car, and I was like, oh, crap. And I was on my way to a new uh, internship with a basketball team in the area, and so I was like, I got to get to work. I don't want to be stopped. I'm terrified of you because I'm a sweet little 18-year-old baby, and I'm tired. And uh, so I made a right-hand turn. And he made a right-hand turn with me. And I made another right-hand turn. And he made a right-hand turn with me. And I made a third right-hand turn because I didn't want to, like, deviate from my course. I still wanted to get to work on time and try to avoid this cop. And he pulled me over. And so we pulled into a, a parking lot. And he's like, you know, typically when someone makes three right-hand turns in a row, because if you think about, like, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, you're back where you, you started. Um, he's like, typically they are up to something. And he's like, your plates are expired. I was like, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. I'm, I'm just, and I made up this story that I was lost on the way to my new job. Um, which wasn't really true. Uh, I mean, I was on my way to a new job, so like half true, I guess, but uh, I didn't want to get any sort of, you know, infraction or ticket or anything. And of course he didn't give me anything. He's like, just get those plates taken care of, please. Uh, and have a great day and good luck at your job. And I was like, whoa, thanks. Uh, that's the only time I've ever been stopped by police. Now, I've been in a lot of weird encounters uh, with police, or not weird, but odd encounters with police with my parents. The most strange being, or I guess really, probably the only strange one. Most of them were just like, you're speeding, your lights are broken, something like that. But the only strange one was a guy cited my mom oh, for an no. amber light violation for going through a yellow light, which I don't even think is a real violation. He must have just been short on quota. What a jerk. Welcome to the mission. That wasn't so long, was it? We got back just in time. This ain't the last you've seen of Moda Luca. I can do this sentence standing on my head. Thanks to my circus trains. There's some paperwork. We won't be seeing Mo DeLuga back on the street for at least eight years. Thanks to those parking tickets. 
Another job done and the final day of my 36 year long career finished. And all without a single blemish. Hey, Pat, I'm here from Mo DeLuca. <laughs> oh, poor dude. We stole his criminal and he got pooped on. Hey, you okay back there, Mr. DeLuca? I ain't talking to you. Just shut up and take me to Albatross. If you insist. But I don't really work for the prison, so we can go somewhere else if you like. What? Oh, man. I know Benny come through for me. What's your name, kid? Chase. Don't know you? Don't care. Take me to the usual hideout. Actually, I work for Chan Chuang, but I'm sick of it. I arranged this escape because I want to work for a real criminal. Ha ha! Shows you got guts, Chase. Cedar Street, that's where the hideout is. Looks like they figured out what I'm up to. This might get bumpy. If it gets me out of an eight year stretch, you can make it as bumpy as you like. <laughs> I like how we're like subverting the police authority, but also doing the right thing. And Chase, come on. You don't tell the bad guy your real name. Make up a fake identity like uh, Dingletron or like Let's go, Duncan. Let's go. I give this one seven out of ten. That's not bad, kid. We're doing good. We're doing good. But don't tell him your name. Fine, keep the seat. Carl. I'm Carl. But don't be Chase. Don't, don't the criminals of this town know that Chase McCann is like legendary detective? Or are they all just I can freaking. See why Chan hired you. <laughs> You're pretty good at driving. They all have Alzheimer's and amnesia and I don't know. I don't know. But. Seriously, come on, guys. Don't use your real name if you're about to trick somebody. And why don't the police just call Chase up and be like, hey, please stop. By the time Jimmy Squareleg stuffed me in his trunk and drove me over the border. Happy days. Quit your crying. Stop worrying. We're gonna be fine. Hold your tears for later. All right. Get to the hideout. Join the Vinny the isn't it isn't he a pizza guy Vinny the pizza dude? That we're gonna send me down for eight years <laughs> just because of some parking tickets. Uh oh. We're getting close. So, do you really want to jump ship to Vinny's crew? Yeah. Huh? I might be able to swing something. I mean, you're good with me, kid. But Vinny, he's another case altogether. You're gonna have to do something really special to get in with him. Whatever it takes, Mr. DeLuca. As if stealing a prison truck and avoiding the entire Lego City police force wasn't special enough, I think we can, I think we can figure out a way to make this dude happy. He does have some extreme desires, and there are a bunch of wandering firemen. And I think I just missed the hideout. Backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up, back, 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 back it up like a Mack truck, and pop it into this hideout that isn't very hidey, since there's like a million people around. Hmm. Come around the back and let me out. Open sesame. Thanks. Mo, you escaped. We was just formulating a plan to bust you out of Albatross for Vinny. Too late. This kid beat you to it. Now get rid of that truck. Thanks, Chase. I'll be in touch. <laughs> They're gonna take the truck away, I don't have to worry about that no more, although Chase is probably not wanted for like, six trillion crimes. Unless because he's undercover they don't recognize, I'm not sure. Video call. Hey, Chase. I think I found your in with my cousin Vinny. That was fast. What is it? My brother-in-law works at the airport. Said they got some shipment of fancy high-tech gizmos in from a security company out east. Mm. I know for a fact that Vinny would really like to get his hands on them. And how do I get my hands on them in the first place? Ah. Okay. I don't usually like to do jobs myself, but you did me a real solid back at the courthouse. So I'll help you out this once. Meet me in a car park south of the airport. I'll get right over there. All right, we're gonna pull off an electronics heist at the airport to get in good with Vinny and company. Should be a good time. All right, where are we headed? It's actually not that far from here. I can take it on foot if I desire. Your secret hideout needs some work though, dude. There's like a million, this is like a open public square. I don't think they understand the meaning of the word secret very well. It's more like uh, the opposite of secret. Punching stuff, breaking things down, breaking barriers, uniting the city. Everybody come together. 
Under one love. Chase McCain's Fists of Doom. Alright, the Herbert Hotel. It has a nice something up there. Let's grab it while I can. Why not, right? Um, can we grab... Can I... Why is that not a lock-on point? Oh, there it is. It is. You have to be so close to these darn things to get them to work. But I unlocked the most beautiful girl in the whole world, Officer Park. And now we're going to go to the airplane park, otherwise known as the airport. And find ourselves a freaking electronics stealing session. Because Vinny likes electronics, and that's going to help us get in with him. I mean, wouldn't it probably be better just to, like, I don't know. Try to think if you were a cop, would you just chase after all these leads, or would you just go after Rex? Like, I have to imagine that Chase has some pretty cool Lego technology. He probably could just put a tracker on Rex, or something, or something, or find him. I mean, I don't know. He's kind of a clumsy, clumsy, clumsy dude. What's in here? What is this? What is this? A gumball machine? Okay, okay. This ability is locked. The gumball machine ability? Do I get a gumball? Oh yeah. Chewing that bubble gum, blowing some bubbles, looking all fly, looking all, oh wow. Ouch, that hurt, but I got some money. It's pretty cool that there's some storefronts you can go into, can I? Oh, I can walk through here. Arcadia. Have you ever been to an arcade? I feel like they're so rare, like, the only arcades I see these days are Kevin Jacobs. Who the heck is that? Like, random dude. Um, like, Chuck E. Cheese, which doesn't even really qualify as anything. It's kind of more of, like, a crazy depot where kids go to run around and blow off some steam. But, yeah, arcades used to be a thing. They're just not really so much a thing anymore. I should probably get in a car. What do you think? Trolley? That looks like a good idea. Halt! I'm Chase! Garbage truck. Garbage truck. Yes, you. I want this your vehicle. Street sweeper, baby. I'm Nelly. Country grammar is my jam, and there's a shark on that billboard. That's kind of terrifying. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll pick it up at the airport next time. Until that time, guys and girls, hit that like button if you're enjoying Lego City Undercover. Should be coming as frequently as you want now. Till that next time, though, guys and girls, thanks again for watching. Drink some hot chocolate, and we will see you all later.